Welcome to vlog number four. Now, interestingly, this week's vlog was due to be a kind of like everything I, I did photography-wise in this week. So it started okay, it started on Sunday last week with a photography outing to take some night sky photography. On Wednesday night I played football, injured myself, got a really deep cut to my foot. Uh, if you're squeamish, look away. Now, three, two, one, here it comes. So that's what I did. Spent the night in hospital. I can walk, but a photography trip is now out of the question for the next few days. So this vlog is now all about last Sunday's trip out and uh, the photos that I managed to take during that, uh, that trip. And a kind of week in photography vlog will have to wait for another time when hopefully, touch wood, I don't sustain a deep cut to my foot. Enjoy. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, it's Sunday night and we've got some clear skies. I've done a bit of research and found a place about 20 minutes up the road, which I think, I think it's gonna be good for some nighttime photography. Should be low light. There's a folly there, which uh, if you don't know what that is, hopefully you'll see some nice pictures of it. But um, you know, yeah, go out for a couple of hours and try and take advantage of some clear skies, some rare clear skies in the last, uh, three or four weeks so um right let's go ah this is a bit better with my um with the light that i've bought so i've come to a village called steeple aston that was recommended to me because of a folly that's over my shoulder but you won't be able to see because it's pitch black so i've parked up i've walked down this country lane for about half a mile past a fox along the way just so these eyes lit up and uh and uh, it just sort of watched me go <laughs> fast. It didn't stalk me, that was good. And it's been lovely and clear, all the drive here, and uh, I got one photo and then the cloud has come over. So at the moment, there's a bit of cloud. So I'm just gonna hold on, and then hopefully in the next half an hour or so that will go and I can get some pictures because there were good compositions to be had. Just need the cloud to disappear, so um, fingers crossed on that one. But I'm just praying that it doesn't end up coming over cloudy because the forecast is for clear. So keep your fingers crossed for me. Right, little update. It's about 40 minutes since my last part of this video where the cloud had just started rolling in. At that point, I was seeing some stars every now and then, but there was nothing, there wasn't a gap big enough in the clouds to get a big enough. Uh, to, to you know to fit the exposure so 10 15 seconds was was um it just wasn't happening and now and now it's just complete cloud cover even though all of my apps say partly cloudy so that's a bit frustrating actually so i've got a bit of a decision to make at the minute which is whether i hang it out and see over the next half an hour if we get any clear skies or whether i call it a night and, and go back home uh, I think I'm gonna hold out I'm not too cold at the moment I've got some drink so I'm, I'm okay I haven't got anything to sit on I need to I need to go shopping and get something to sit on but um, yeah this is uh, I guess this is the challenge with night sky photography it has cloud and uh, un unexpected cloud as well because when I left home I had that like buzz you know you get that adrenaline oh we're gonna go let's go and get a good photo and at the moment it's uh, it's a little bit disappointing. So we will see, but I'm gonna try and hold on for a bit longer, maybe like half an hour and we'll see. And if there's no signs of the sky clearing up, then I'll I'll call it a night and there'll be other clear nights. So it's not, it's not the biggest problem in the world. Right, so as you can probably tell, I knocked it on the head and decided to come home. The cloud just, just didn't go. It, it just got it's what seemed to be thicker and thicker. Uh, I waited for maybe an hour and 15 and I was like this is just this is not going to happen tonight I said my apps were saying that it was due to clear and it just didn't so that was disappointing however it wasn't a you know all was not lost shall we say because it gave me an opportunity to experiment now this was what it looked like when I got to the place the folly in Steve Aston. So this picture here shows the kind of first photo I took where there's a little bit of cloud cover but you can still make Orion out. Then not so long afterwards you can see this image which shows it getting even cloudier. Now at this point I'm like it's okay I can still see other stars around me so I'm thinking this is just some patchy cloud that's going to blow over. But gradually the cloud rolled in 
and covered the entire sky. So at that point, I'm thinking, right, I'm stood out in the kind of, you know, what feels like the middle of nowhere. It's pitch black, there's cloud cover, what do I do? So I chose at that point to have a bit of, have a bit of a play around with this Canon G7X, which is what I use for my vlog. Now, the Canon has got several nighttime capabilities. It can do star trails, it can do time lapses, it can do some other general stuff that I haven't really investigated yet, but I will. So I attached the Canon to the tripod that I've normally got my DSLR on, and I took some time lapses, so this one. I also experimented with trying to take photos, so, so long exposure photos, but using a bit of light from a torch to light the immediate area in front of the, the camera because I'd seen someone else doing that so it was really just sort of like 45 minutes of me playing around experimenting and, and, and just trying to find different ways in which I can utilize my cameras when things like cloud cover happen which is part and parcel of, 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 um, of photography, I guess, right? I'm very new to this. I'm just kind of exploring what works and what doesn't. The other thing that was kind of evident to me is that I should, you know, trying to vlog and take images is quite difficult. So it's a process that I'm learning and, and will evolve and, and I'm hoping you're gonna come on that journey with me because I should have done a video in hindsight that said, hey, I'm done, I'm calling it a night, let's go home. And then that would transition into this video that you're watching now, this part of the video. But uh, I didn't, I think I just got a bit annoyed, packed everything up and thought, sod it, I'm going home for some, some dinner. I was a bit limited time-wise, because it was just, it was a bit of a, it was a bit of like an ad hoc trip. I sort of looked outside, it was clear, the forecast looked okay, and, and so off I off I went. So I didn't have a hot drink with me. Again, like I said earlier on in the video, I don't have anything to sit on, so I'm kind of, I was in the field doing the time lapse, and I got a two second time lapse, but that takes quite a while to capture. So if you want to capture a really decent time lapse, I've learned that, you know, I need, A, I need to be warm, I need to have a hot drink, and I need to have somewhere to sit, because standing in a country lane for 12 or 13 minutes, just while a time lapse takes, that's, you know, your patience wears thin and you think, well, actually, I need to be more comfortable to allow that time lapse to go for longer so that I can add a better quality of time lapse into this video. The other thing I learned is that I need another tripod. So I only had one tripod. I have got a small tripod that I've got a light on here at the minute, just a little Joby thing. But I've only got one full size tripod. So I've actually been out since last Sunday and bought a second tripod because what I can then do is I can set up my Canon to be doing a time lapse or a star trail pointing in one direction and then I can go in another direction and take some photos on another tripod with my DSLR. So I'm trying to only buy equipment as the need arises. So I bought the light so that I could create better videos in the dark and now I've realized a second tripod tripod would allow me to create, say, a star trail or a time lapse, which would be good B-roll footage. So I'm aware with this vlog that one of the things I'd like to add is some B-roll footage to, to, to evolve it. So all was not lost last Sunday, although it was really frustrating because I had this nice composition. You can kind of see it in, in this shot that I shared. You've got the tree, you've got the folly over to the left, and Orion was sat right above it, and I'm thinking, it's perfect. I just need the cloud to bugger off, and it, and it didn't. But never mind, I will go back to that location on a clear night. I will get that composition of the, the tree with Orion in the background, and I also can walk the other side of the folly, which should look up towards, again, things like Orion and Pallides. So there are good photos to be had there in the future. It just needs a guarantee of a clear night. So that's I guess it's part of the adventure of going out in the dark standing in a field in the middle of nowhere taking some photos trying to capture that one image that gives you the buzz and and you put up and you're really happy with and and people enjoy it you know that's that's the challenge and I'm enjoying the challenge you know it's frustrating when you're out there and you think oh that's you know where's this cloud come from but it's all part of the journey and all part of the adventure so I will show uh, in the description, I will put the link to the new tripod that I bought. It's only 28 quid. And uh, I'm kind of looking forward to, to using it on my next outing once my foot has healed. As always, 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.